All right, Raider fans, finally time to talk about the NFL Draft. Um, really, I, I know I've been waiting for a while to make this video, but I had to wait till all the names come out, wait till the combine happens and everything else, including the free agency signings that went on. Uh, not too much going on free agency-wise, you know. That Donovan McNabb uh, rumor trade thing was false. I pretty much knew it. That's why I didn't make a video on it. Uh, you know, the local paper, for those of you who are from Oakland or in the Bay Area, knew that the paper was saying it was clearly false, so this is, that's why I did not believe the Donovan McNabb rumors, but now the draft is coming, let's move on and start with what I would do if I was running the Raiders. So first of all, uh, in the first round we have the 8th overall pick, especially the offensive line has been the biggest need for a long time. Uh, last year, you know, for those of you who saw that video, I said, you know, Michael Crabtree would be okay, neutral, but I was concerned about the offensive line. I wanted Eugene Monroe last year, for those of you who saw the video. Uh, but this year, from looking at the class, it's all about the offensive line and defensive line in, in this year's specific uh, draft class. With that being said, Russell Okong will probably be taken before us. I don't want to trade up for anything, so... But for, uh, re realistically, the best case scenario, in my opinion, it's all about drafting Trent Williams from Oklahoma. I really like his work ethic, and I like the fact that he's been a very solid uh, offensive lineman for a line that was mediocre from what I've heard from Oklahoma fans. He was the star of that line. So Trent Williams would be the best case scenario. I've heard he's moved up on people's mock drafts, so realistically speaking, he may not be there, but that's what I would prefer. Also, uh, possibilities, Brian Bulaga, I'd be fine with him, very neutral, uh, nothing good or bad. But the person I don't want to see is Anthony Davis. And why? Because I think his work ethic will be bad. He might end up, much like Jamarcus Russell and Michael Crabtree, pulling one of those holdouts. I don't think Anthony Davis has the work ethic that I'd want to see. So stay away from him. That, that's all I really want. Um, Prediction-wise, though, Bruce Campbell. I think Bruce Campbell will most likely be drafted by the Oakland Raiders because of his work, work, uh, workaholicness. Because he's a, a workout warrior. Face it, he he had probably the best combine, and he has all the measurements. Whether it's a 40-yard dash, whether it's his his strength, his arm span, his size. I mean, look at how tall he is. It's crazy. So. Al Davis loves athletes, not necessarily track stars, and Bruce Campbell fits that he wants to be a Raider pretty much all around, the way his combine went. Now, if all the offensive linemen are taken, and say Bruce Campbell's the only one left, if I was running the Raiders, I'd be taking Rolando McClain out of Alabama. You may say, think I'm crazy because the offensive line is a big concern for us. Well, one thing is this. Rolando McClain, to me, is so, a linebacker who's so raw and talented that you don't see people like him grow on trees. And the front seven has been a big issue for the Raiders uh, in a while, you know, the linebacking position. You know, Kirk Morrison's okay. I hope we get Thomas Howard back. But there isn't that true impact linebacker like those days of Greg Beekert, you know. We don't have the true great linebacker that we once did. And fixing the front seven would be a key thing, in my opinion, for uh Raiders, so it's only a dream, but Rolando McClain would be my pick if the uh, Raiders, supposedly all those offensive linemen are taken. And also, if Bruce Campbell is left and McClain he happens to be reached, I would trade down to get Bruce Campbell just a little bit, trade down, because right? I think teams have a chance to get Eric Berry at 8. I've heard that he could fall. If he's available at 8, people should trade up and the Raiders should trade down and get Bruce Campbell if that's the case. So that's what I'd be doing. On to the second round, I would want to pretty much draft a defensive tackle. Uh, once again, as I mentioned before, the front seven has been a big issue of ours. And I think the defensive tackle position would be a big key. Uh, people who could fall there would be maybe Terrence Cody. People might think he's too fat or whatever, but Terrence Cody is there. Heck, Brian Price, my own favorite UCLA uh, alumni. Brian Price could fall to the second round. Or another guy that people probably haven't heard of is Cam Thomas from North Carolina. Cam Thomas fits the defensive, uh, I guess, the defensive uh, athletic ability or strength that Al Davis would like. So Cam Thomas is my realistic pick, but I wouldn't be surprised. I would love to take Brian Price or Terrence Cody if available in the second round. So for the third round, 
I want the Raiders to take a cornerback if I was running them. Uh, prop, I would want all Teron Burner because I believe he's a good shutdown corner, playing good man defense. But that's just me being a homer. But a reason why our pass defense can get burned is because all, no one throws to Nandi Asamoah. Well, everyone will throw to the second cornerback. And uh, I think that all Teron Burner is the best shutdown corner in the uh, when the third round comes because Kyle Wilson and Joe Hayden will be taken. I think the Raiders, if they do draft a cornerback, it's going to be a guy named Akwazi Owusu Ansa, and he's from Indiana, uh, Division II school, I believe. He fits the athletic uh, perception that Al Davis likes. If I'm going to go completely off a tangent, I think the Raiders are going to draft Jacoby Ford from Clemson. He's a wide receiver. That guy is your fast athlete. He's a true track star, no joke. He, he literally is a track star. And... Uh, I think Al Davis does not want speed like that to go away. So, Jacoby Ford or Quasi Owusu Ansa in the third round. I wouldn't be happy or mad, but we'll see what happens when that third round comes. In the fourth round, I want to see the Raiders take a quarterback. Whoever the best quarterback is available, I think we should draft one project. So right now it's only Bruce Gretkowski, Jamarcus Russell, and Charlie Fry. I do think there needs to be that fourth quarterback to promote competition and maybe squeak on the roster. Uh, if I was running the Raiders, I would take Sean Canfield or Jevin Sneed in the fourth round, if available. But in reality, to me, the best quarterback available is who I'd take there. Um, quarterback, obviously, you know it's a position in need, but uh, I, that's who I would take in the fourth round. So for the fifth round, we have two fifth round picks. We have the Patriots fifth round pick and, of course, our own. I would be taking another linebacker because I think we need to promote more competition and depth at linebacker. And I would also take an, another offensive lineman. I think the offensive line is a big piece of concern. Uh, logic defines because we signed some offensive linemen, it might not happen, but I would draft an offensive lineman because that's another concern with the run. Um, as I said before about the front seven with linebackers. So. Take the best linebacker and offensive lineman available in the fifth round, and, and that's who I would take. In the seventh round, we have two seventh round picks. We got a compensatory selection, no sixth round pick, and we have our own seventh round pick. Who I would take in the seventh round would be a fullback named John Connor out of Kentucky, or whoever the fullback would be, because right now we do not have the greatest depth. Uh, you know, Oren O'Neill unfortunately cannot always stay healthy. So we do need a fullback, I think, just, just one. And in the last round, most likely I think that the fastest player available will most likely be taken in the seventh round. The Raiders will often draft for speed in the late rounds. Do not think it always happens in the first round, but definitely in the late rounds, the, sometimes the fastest player available is taken. And Things have panned out, like Chaz Schillens. You know, he was a seventh round pick, and he's proved to be very solid when healthy. So. Now, just for fun on the side, I'm going to make two bold predictions about the draft. Uh, the first one is I think that Tim Tebow will be drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars out of all teams. I see that they're going to try to save their franchise, maybe try to get sellouts, and I think Tim Tebow would fit that because he's in the state of Florida, and he still will play in the state of Florida, even though it's a little bit north in Jacksonville. The Jacksonville want to save their franchise and draft Tim Tebow. The second prediction I have is Javed Best is going to be a San Diego Charger. Uh, most likely, I don't think, there's not too many running backs that are really star in this class. Uh, C.J. Spiller will be taken in the first round. And I think Javed Best will fall to the San Diego Chargers, which I really hope it doesn't happen, but if it does, it is what it is. And I will hope he gets injured and gets beat up. Hopefully the Raiders will smash him when the time comes. So lastly, you know, I really want to hear from all you guys on the comment box, uh, Raider Nation specifically, and any, hey, even you haters out there can make predictions too. I want to hear who you want to draft, if you're a Raider fan, who you want to draft in the first round or the second round and so on. Don't have to say everything, but definitely say the first two rounds for sure, who you would take, position-wise or name, if you want to say any names. And then also, I also want to see a prediction in the first round because I predicted Bruce Campbell for the first round, Cam Thomas for the second round. That's who I have right now. Let me know who you would call or who do you think will be predicted in the first two rounds by the Raiders as well. If you're a hater or if you're a Raider fan, 
who can make predictions. Let me know. I also have in the description, if you look, I know it's down low now. Uh, in the description, I have a bunch of names, whether it's players I want, players I don't want, predictions, and athletes. You know, there's a bunch of athletes out there that Al Davis could reach for, so I'll put their names in the description too. So make sure you check it out. Go Raiders, and let's hope we see a successful draft. You will see a post-draft analysis when the time comes and when the entire draft is over. So you have to wait till the whole draft is over for me to talk about it. We'll see you all later, and go Raiders.